How are you doing guys? It's Big Mac Dance Floor here again today. Um, there's a package in front of you. Just, to, just got it. Um, so I thought I'd open it for you. As you can see, I've already opened it. I had a sneaky look what's inside. Um, but yeah, I'll do a quick unboxing for you. Do, 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 do. So, oh, what's that? A white box. Uh, so this is uh, Up Commandos. Um, the fine cast, of, I've already opened the box like I said. Um, they are fine cast. So, um, I've had a quick look over them. They, they, they repair to be in like no blemishes or anything like that. There's a fair bit of flashing in certain places, but nothing that can't be cleaned up. Um, I've not really worked with, I've not worked with fine cast resin before. Um, I don't think I have anyway. I'm trying to think how if I have. Um, but yeah, and I understand it can be challenging and stuff. There is a little bend on, um, one of the weapons, um, one of the choppers has a little bend on it. Um, but hopefully nothing that can't be sorted. And then this uh, is Boss Snick Rock. Um, you may remember from a few videos back if you saw it. Um, I was asked, I think I was asked what my favourite orc unit was. Um, and I didn't really have one. But like I, I love the way Boss Snick Rock looks. And um, I, his fluff's really good as well. And the whole idea of like an orc being sneaky. I really like love the idea of that. Um, so yeah, um, I thought I'd get myself for Snig right on a unit of commandos as well and the rules for them as well They you know, they seem like with boss Snig right in the unit. They seem like they could be really useful um, Ideally, I'd want a big unit, but I can just run some boys with them for the time being um, But using them as a uh, as commandos of course. Uh, yeah, so there's boss Snig right you can just about see his head in there as well there we go. So he's got a, he's got a weird mask with loads of eyes on it. Um, yeah, so that's Boss Snick Rock. And this, I did not expect this at all. Uh, I didn't say, I've not said yet, have I? Yeah, so this is the package I've been waiting for from um, War Games, um, Mike McNeil's store. It should be open now. I think he said he was opening Friday, which Black Friday, which was obviously yesterday. Um, so he should be open now. Um, I've not had a look online today to see whether his web store's open yet, but um, I'll put a link to his web store where you can subscribe and um, an email as well where you can place orders if you want. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. This is um, this week's White Wolf, which is brilliant. Um, he had a, there was another little delay um, and the package got sent to the wrong place. Um, so obviously when he's got the package back, he's popped this in there for me, which is absolutely brilliant. So thanks very much, Martin. Um, and look at that, uh, the mini on the front, obviously it's an Age of Sigmar mini, but I think it's, uh, I've not looked at it yet, um, but I think it's Archaeon, um, Archaeon, is it called Archaeon the Black or just Archaeon? Anyway, it's Chaos is Chosen, and uh, this beast that he's riding has um, a corn head, a Zeech head, and a Nurgle head. Uh, there's no Slanesh head, obviously Slanesh has gone missing in the uh, Age of Sigmar universe, um, but yeah, it uh, looks like a really awesome miniature, that. Let's just have a quick flick through while we're here. That was a very quick flick through. I didn't even look at any of them pages. So, ah, oh, there's the uh, uh, Leviathan Pattern Dreadnought uh, for Heresy, or you can use it in 40k, I guess, as well. Um, just more pictures of that mini. Oh, it's massive, actually. Look at it compared to that's the Glockin mini. Um, if you know the height of that, I'm not too sure of the height of that, but that one obviously it's uh, it's got massive wings and stuff as well, so it's going to be huge. Anyway, let's flick through a bit further. Yeah, painting guide there, standard. See if we can get anything else interesting. Oh, a few di different uh, parade ground article, as always. I like them in orange, that's a riser colour scheme, I think, isn't it? Um, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> and again, another white dwarf. Uh, I didn't I didn't order this. This is, um, I've already got this white dwarf, but um, I'll give this one to my nephew. Um, so that's brilliant again, thanks very much, Martin. Um, it's got the uh, Ultramarines badge in there as well. Um, I think the Warhammer Visions is out this month with the Wordbearer badge in, which uh, I'll probably get. I don't normally buy Warhammer Visions because it's just a lot of pictures. Um, and stickers as well, freebies. Lovely jubbly Ultramarines and Wordbearer freebies. Fantastic stuff. Wristbands. My word. There's a load of stuff in there. So I uh, can't really see that, but basically this is the same as this one. You can see that one. Uh, it looks like it's got like runes on there and stuff. I'm I was trying to work out if they were supposed to be like letters, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just runes. And then there's a that's a word better wristband, and so the one I just threw down. That's an Ultramarines one or an Imperium one at least. There's another Ultramarines or Imperium one. And 
two badges, a word bearer badge and an ultramarine badge. Really cool. Thanks very much. And onto this, the main, the main event, if you like. Ugh, an empty box. Now, <laughs> the main event, of course, is the Horus Heresy Betrayal at Calf game. Um, I was in Games Workshop in Manchester uh, the other day, and I thought, you know, I've been eyeing up different um, upgrade kits from different companies. Um, but I've, I've ordered myself from Games Workshop in Manchester um, just a Thousand Sun upgrade sprue. Um, the Space Wolves, because uh, I'm doing it as Thousand Suns and Space Wolves, if this is the first time you're watching any video related to this game. Um, yeah, so I'm doing Thousand Suns and Space Wolves. I'm doing the Ultramarines forces as Thousand Suns. I'll do the Terminators as the Scarab Occult Terminators from uh, the Thousand Suns novel. And also uh, they feature a little bit in the uh, Space Wolf novel Prospero Burns. Um, and the uh, the word bearers I'll do as like an invasion force of space wolves um, coming to hunt down the uh, sorcerers of Prospero as the as they became known. Um, so yeah, it's going to be uh, hopefully really interesting. I think I've got most of this week off, so fingers crossed I'll make some good progress and get some videos up for you. And I might even um, might even have a look at my Gorkonaut and get another video for that for you if uh, if I find the time and you know. 24 hours times five at least, you know, I should, I should have the time. <laughs> right, okay guys, that's everything. I'm not gonna open this because there's been plenty of unboxings for the Horus Heresy Betrayal at Kalth game. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you on the battlefield.